David, tonight, people on the South Shore and on Cape Cod are worried about the safety of their water. And many don't believe promises from the Pilgrim Nuclear Power Plant that they'll be notified if the plant's owners decide to dump radioactive wastewater in Cape Cod Bay. WBZ's Paul Burton is live in Plymouth tonight. And Paul, this is not what people wanted to hear. No, but at least frank conversations are now underway, and those discussions involve people and businesses all along Cape Cod here, including the tourist industry. Looking over there, you're looking at the Mayflower there, and just all along the bay here, even here along the fishing industry, all these people and businesses are deeply concerned about what is going to happen. Uh, decommissioning, uh, it's not simply a labor issue. It's a safety issue. And those Congressman Bill Keating has some tough words for the company in charge of decommissioning the Pilgrim Nuclear Power Plant in Plymouth. On Friday at Plymouth Town Hall, state and local officials heard testimony from Holtec International CEO, who's come under scrutiny for lack of transparency over how they plan to dispose of the one million gallons of radioactive water waste inside the former nuclear plant along Cape Cod Bay. And your company must seek clearance. Must from the EPA for any discharge into Cape Cod Bay. Unless the water is contaminated and it exceeds EPA limits or NRC's limits, typically, if our process does not require notifying them, then we would not. Now, being that it has become a high-profile item, we will start yes. notifying everybody. Pilgrim Nuclear Power Plant closed in 2019 after 47 years of providing electricity to the region. Part of the decommissioning of this facility involves large holding pools of radioactive wastewater. During today's hearing, which lasted more than three hours, Holtec CEO says he's still considering treating the water and discharging it into the bay or trucking it into another state. Meanwhile, residents are deeply concerned about their safety. I don't know what they're going to do exactly. So that is the big <laughs> issue, as I mentioned. Though nothing was voted on today, Senator Ed Markey made it clear that there would be no dumping of any water into the bay unless it's deemed 100% safe. We have to make sure that no water goes into Cape Cod uh, Bay that is not absolutely guaranteed by the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute to be safe. And Senator Ed Markey also wants to make sure there's full funding in case there's an emergency evacuation plan in case of an accident. The next meeting is scheduled for Monday. That involves the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, who is also expected to answer some very harsh questions. Live in Plymouth, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News. Paul, thank you.